So you got a drop down control and you want to add some items in there and you want to use a table function. Well, let's look at three different ways that you can use the table function. The first way, if we go up here to the items property, is to do the square brackets. So if you do a square bracket and then inside there, you can type in your choices. So you do yes, no, maybe. So the idea here is that when you do square brackets, this is the shorthand for the table function. This creates a single column table where the column name is value and then you just manually type in the thing. So yes, no, maybe. So this would work anytime that you just want a simple list. If you need a table that has multiple columns, then you can't use the shorthand. What you need to do is you need to use the table function itself. So you do table. And so inside of here, you're gonna do something very JSON-like and create your own records. So you do that with curly brackets. And inside the curly brackets, you're gonna need to do a column name. So like name and then a colon, not the equal sign, and in this case, if I want to do the text buddy, I would put it in double quotes. If you want to do a number like age, you just do age colon and then 12 and something like that will get that created. And if I close this now, that would create a table with the two columns, but with one record. If I want to have multiple records, we would then just copy this pattern, copy, put a comma here and then paste it in. And then now we'll just do Chewy and four and now our table has two records. So you could do that for as many records as you want. Now keep in mind when you do this, that your dropdown is going to show based on the value property over here on the right. And so if I wanted to show the age instead, we can do that. The third way you might use the table function, let's say that you are using a list, whether it's a SharePoint list, Dataverse, Table, SQL, doesn't matter, but we're using the departments list today to show all the different departments. So we go here, we choose the value, and then we set it to title. And now our dropdown is full of all the different departments. But what if you wanted to add an all to that list? What you can do is you can use the table function, so table, and then you can craft a record that would match it. So in this case, because we're using title, we do curly bracket, title, colon, and then all. And then we'd close our curly bracket, we'll do a comma, and we'll go to the end here and close our parentheses. So we'll write this function. So now you can see in our dropdown, we have merged all the record with the other table. And because they both have a title column and we're displaying the title column, we see all. So anytime you want to combine two tables, you can use a table function as well. Now, if you're thinking, how do I sort this stuff? How do I filter on it? All of those fun type of things, then check out the full length video. It is linked down below and it will walk you through using all of these functionality.